laptop. Right, hello everybody and welcome to Little Hack 2019. <laughs> it is very evident that a lot of people like to sit at the back, and it's very evident that people didn't like half eight registration. Um, and thanks for all coming. Now, I didn't prepare this, I was out till one o'clock this morning, so um, I've just got my Grammarly open here, so at least I'll get it correct. So, this year's Little Hacks at George Watson's College, this uh, venue. It's um, the first Little Hack not ran at uh, Napier. However, fun fact, all Little Hacks will be on the same street, um, which is a coincidence. Um, now, for many of you, this will be the first time you're back in a school for quite a while. So you might be getting like PTSD flashbacks of being at school. Don't worry, hopefully no bullying here. Um, however, we'll get to that. Um, this is the third third hack. Um, so in 2017, it started. We had 70 individuals competing at a CTF over a weekend in the glass room. You probably passed it if you came in from town. Then last year, we had 150 attendees coming to do a workshop, then a CTF. And then this year, We've got this, which we sold about 230 tickets. Um, so therefore, bigger and better growing every year. So, moving to a conference site, we tried to do something completely different. Like, we tried to change it to cater to what we wanted to do. We wanted an educational ethos. We wanted to make sure people learned and took something away from the weekend. And I think we can do that with this type of, um, uh, like the venue and the order and the agenda. Um, especially with the two tracks, including one dedicated to the students, along with our master crafted Team UK member, Charlie's CTF tomorrow. Um, so, um, but we can't do this, obviously, this event you this size and an event this big without all of our sponsors, as you can see on the screen. So, start at the bottom, we've got Royal Air Force, Stacker Mail, Legal Jacks. Get cracking, Edinburgh Napier University, Roy Stanley, GitHub, SecureWorks, Illuminate Technologies, Hack the Box, and Lloyds. Some of them are in the back corner here. I would recommend go speak to them. They've got uh, swag, they've got stickers, and they have, most importantly, jobs. If you're looking for placements, internships, or um, a, a graduate role, I'd go speak to them. They've got, that's why they're here. They're here to talk to you. They're looking for enthusiastic students, which you are because you've came to this event at half eight in the morning. You haven't listened to me speak. Um, sorry about that. Um, so when you're registered, you got your swag bag, and then among it, you got an array of stickers. But also, if you unfurled your T-shirt, you got this booklet. This booklet has everything. So it has the run order for the day, so you know what talks to go to. And it's also got the um, it's got the Wi-Fi passwords at the back, along with social links and QR codes to both our Twitter, which we're doing updates throughout the day, and also Cyber Scotland Connects. Um, Slack, which we're giving updates throughout the day. So, going back to the speaking, there is um, talks throughout the day from people sitting in the front row, people who aren't here yet, but <laughs> um, the only thing I have to say is the talks are being recorded, and um, they will be going on uh, administrator.video from Cooper's, so we're using Cooper stuff, so that's where you might have seen Mini Cooper on the camera right here, and then we will the only thing is, there's only one talk that's not getting recorded, and that's Doug Carson's phone freaking talk. So therefore, if you, you can't, if you want to see that, you can't miss it here because it's going to be not recorded for later. Um, so just to move on, finally, um, going on to the code of conduct. So as of any NUSEC event, the code of conduct is the Berlin code of conduct. Um, it's in the booklet as well, but it basically boils down to don't be a dick. Um, not to be taken in jest, though, we do take any code of conduct violation seriously. Um, if you have a code of conduct violation, you need to speak to someone. Speak to someone in the black branded t-shirts with the committee badges. This is um, the people who are responsible for getting all sorted. We will take things very seriously. Um, our goal with this is to maintain the had to be an educational event with um, accommodating environment to foster a learning experience, and that's what this event's all about. Talking about learning experiences, passing over to Max, who's going to pass on his learned wisdom. <laughs> all right, thank, th thanks, Jamie. Yeah, so I get, I get, oh, I get all the good stuff. So, 
Uh, you can see around there, there are fire exits here. So like all throughout the day, the fire exits are really clearly marked. If you're in this building or track two, which is kind of upstairs, then an assembly point is out the front. Uh, when we go over to track one, which is out the back here, then I will tell you at the beginning of the day like where, where the muster point is and stuff like that. Toilets, if you need them, are out the front and sort of to the right. They're very clearly marked with, with big posters, one with a woman. Not, it's not like that, but like with a woman and, and one with a man. Um, wear your lanyard all the time, please. If, like we've been told that if, if you're seen without a lanyard, then people will kick you off the site because you might just be like an interloper or something. Yeah, 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 I'll get to it. Uh, so photos and stuff are, are fine, but if you see somebody wearing wearing a blue lanyard, please try to avoid taking taking a photograph of them. Uh, not because they're spies or anything like that, but just because they'd rather not be photographed. Um, phones on silent, obviously. Um, what was the other one? Smoking, right? So because this is a school, even though there there, there are students here today, actually, yeah. So it's a school. So if you're going to smoke, you need to smoke off. Off campus, so that's out by the out by the road. Yeah, don't get caught. Hey, um, anything else? Okay, so uh, track one is going to be with me all day, and so that's if you come out of here, you'll see there's a sign there that says track one. You're going to walk along after after Stu's giving his talk. Then anybody that's going to want to come over to track one, I'll walk you over there uh, together. It's just sort of out the back and then across. So it's like music music hall. It's quite sort of. Obvious says music hall in, in big big letters. Uh, track two is going to be up the stairs. It's it's clearly signposted. Who's running track two? Where's Mark? Mark and Charlie probably up in track two, right? Oh, there he is. That guy you can see waving his hand. Wave your hand for everyone, Mark. Yeah, there's Mark. So Mark's going to be running track two. So he'll take you over after after Stu's talk. Right. So that's that's it for me. Welcome to, to La Tour de Hack 19. I hope you have an awesome day. We're going to kick things off here with uh, Stupac. Thank you very much.